roll with it because it's as good as it gets. channel. This is really the first of hopefully a lot of a glimpse into our move to Australia. My sister Jules is here helping me with all the things as we pack and get ready, but this is something that I'm proud of. This is something that I have been working on, which is our backpacks for our kids on the flight. So when we leave, we have like over a 24 hour travel time. We fly to Atlanta, to LA, to Sydney, Australia. And I think our longest flight is between 14 and 16 hours. So I am trying to be as prepared as I can for the kids who none of them have ever flown before. They are all super excited, but I have a feeling that'll probably wear off by the time we land in Atlanta and then reality sets in. But I wanted to give you a glimpse into what we have packed because I have scoured the internet, asked uh, for advice from many different people that have just traveled with kids a lot. Um, and I think we have packaged up what I hope will be exactly what we need. So we're going to give you a glimpse into this. Um, for Christmas this year, Christmas was a little bit different with us having this international move. So a lot of the backpacks, the toys that are inside, a lot of the things family helped us purchase, which was kind of their big Christmas thing this year. So first up, we'll do Willow. Okay, so Willow is going as a lap infant. Um, and so I do not get a personal bag. Her diaper bag is the personal bag, so my stuff will go in a carry-on, but this is the diaper bag that I have for her. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this out and pass it to Jules, and we'll keep going. But I have this super soft nursing cover, which is going to double as her blanket. So there's that. We've got her some snacks. I don't normally get these snacks, but we're getting special snacks for the trip. So we have some snacks here. I also have some snacks in the front. We've got some applesauce pouches there. And then, so we have little sleepers that are gonna just be the easiest thing for her for traveling overnight. We've got diapers, wipes, more diapers, <laughs> burp cloth. We've got these bibs that my sister-in-law got that have a little teething toy on the end. So bib plus toy that's attached was a great idea. I've got a change pad so that if I have to change her in weird places, she doesn't get dirty. Got her pacifier, teether. I've got a cute little outfit for her for when we depart in Sydney that she'll wear. Hopefully that stays clean. We have a wet bag. These are wet bags from Blueberry Diapers. I will link these in the comments. They are the best. So anything dirty, nasty, gross, wet will all go in these. And then I have my Tula carrier that I will use to carry her around the airport. All right, next up we have Ivy's bag. Now the kids bag, I try my best to keep them light as possible, yet have everything they need. So we'll update when we get there on how well I did. Probably not good, but they all have a cup that we're going to have empty to start off with to help with some of the weight and we'll probably fill that up right before the flight. But in the front pocket here, we've got different snacks, raisins, um, some granola bars, more applesauce pouches. So that's for snacks. And then we've got these little earplug things that I've heard are really good with helping kids um, when their ears are popping and adjusting to everything with the altitude when taking off and landing. So each one of the older kids have that. 
stuffy popper. She's got her headphones and an MP3 player in here loaded with her favorite, the Patch the Pirate Adventures. Then we have a little toiletry bag for her. And in the toiletry bag, we have several different things. So first we have a little Norwex body cloth that she'll use to just kind of wash down a little bit. Um, probably our LA flight will be the one boarding in the evening before our long flight to Sydney. So that's when everybody's gonna get washed up and teeth brushed and in their jammies, ready to hopefully settle in and sleep on that flight. So she's got a little set of PJs, some flossers, toothpaste, brand new toothbrush. She has a wet bag as well. Um, I've got some baby wipes in here. She's still in diapers. We have a cute little dress that she will wear when we depart. All right, I have a stack of diapers for her. And she has her blankie. So I know the airplane has blankets, but we're hoping that we'll keep things as normal as we can on the plane to help them sleep for the night. So she's got her special blankie. And then she has some fun activities. So I love Usborne books. This is a fun sticker dolly dressing mermaid thing that she can do, dress up her mermaids. She loves mermaids. And then some of her favorite books. Let's go shopping bakery. Are you there little unicorn? And what's inside me? This is a fun Usborne book that just has little lip the flaps that will hopefully keep her entertained for a while. So that is Ivy Jade's bag. All right, up next we have Knox. So the three olders have pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different. Um, Knox has snacks in his as well. He just has a bag of peanuts that hopefully he will munch on for a while. So I try to get little PC things that would take longer than like a granola bar that they can eat in five seconds. But in his bag, he's got his little stuffy, got some more earplugs, headphones, this little crab, fidget toy. These are little, I think they're called wiki sticks. They're fun little waxy, um, sticks that they can twist around and make things and also saw somebody said that you can like stick them to the airplane window that that's fun to play with so he has those he has a little activity book that he can play with let's see he has his mp3 player with patch the pirate adventures as well little bag of crayons to go with his notepad and then in here this is his little toiletry bag. So in the front pocket, we have toothpaste, toothbrush, flossers. Then on the inside, he has a Norwex cloth as well, along with jammies. Now I got all the kids footed jammies so that once we're on the plane, if they wake up in that long flight and have to go to the bathroom where they need to walk around, I didn't feel like we had to scramble to find shoes. They could just quickly get up um, try to disturb them as little as possible so they can walk around with this and not get nasty feet. Uh, then he has a little outfit for when he gets off the plane. And when we get over there, it's going to be in the middle of summer, which will probably be like <laughs> between 90 and 100 degrees. So I packed in a little summer outfit. He has little shorts, a cute little shirt, ready to go for when we get off the plane. Socks, underwear, and another wet bag for him. So he has this cute little blanket that he's had since he was a baby. It says My Little Adventurer on it. And then for his activities, he has a dinosaur sticker book from Usborne, bug sticker book. He loves sticker books. This is a lip, lift the flap about wild weather, peek inside how a fire truck works. And then he's got this little magnet board that has the pen, and you can make little pictures by lifting the magnet. So that sound will be really fun in the airplane. <laughs> but that is what we have for Knox's bag. Okay, last one 
and we have Eden, my oldest. She has the exact same snacks as brother. So we've got peanuts, raisins, applesauce pouches, and granola bars in here. She has her cup of water. And then inside, we have more earplugs, and hers is in this because it has the instructions on how to use them. Thought we might need at least one that has those. She's got her little stuffy. Then she has her toiletry bag as well. So she's got footed jammies. She's got a matching dress with her sister for when we get off the plane. Little shorts to go under a dress. Socks, underwear, wet bag here, her little bow, and then we have toothbrush, toothpaste, flossers, and tissues. Oh, and her Norwex cloth. Okay, so in here, another MP3, another one loaded with Patch the Pirate Adventures. They're our favorite. I think she might have some of the Jonathan Park audio adventures on there as well. Got her little kitty headphones, her popper, her crayons. I tried to give them like different things so that they each have their own, but yet the same kind of idea so that somebody's not like, well, I wanted a popper and I didn't get one. So they all kind of have very similar things. Eden has her special blanket for the flight. And then she's got another magnetic board, like her brother. The hidden pictures, and I'll just pull these out. So these are her activity books. She has a lift the flap math book that she got for Christmas. She's got see inside a museum. She wants to be a museum curator when she grows up. So we got her this one for Christmas and she hasn't really looked through this much. I kind of grabbed it quick and put it in the bag to keep it new and fresh for our flight. And then she has a sticker princess book. And then one of her aunts and uncles got her an on the plane activity book. So that is what is going on the plane with our kiddos. Hopefully that will keep them entertained. We've been watching videos about how a plane works, how you board, what it looks like on the inside, hopefully to prepare them as much as we can. Um, the unexpected things will always come up. And like I said, we'll have to update you later on what we should have brought and what we shouldn't have brought. But I hope that this will help set us up for success. And as always, we appreciate your prayers in this venture.